U.S. suggests Russia could be behind Nord Stream gas leaks. The U.S. has said it seems Russia is to blame for this week's leaks in the Nord Stream gas pipelines. U.S. Energy Secretary Jennifer Granholm told the BBC an investigation was being carried out into the cause of what she called an act of sabotage, adding, it is highly unlikely that these incidents are coincidence. No evidence about how the leaks happened has been made public. Russia has dismissed suggestions that it was to blame. It said claims it had damaged the pipelines were stupid and absurd. President Putin described the damage as unprecedented sabotage, in fact, an act of international terrorism, during a phone call with Turkey's President Erdogan, according to the Kremlin, which added Russia plans to bring it up for urgent discussion at the UN Security Council. Earlier Russia's foreign ministry suggest it was the US that stood to benefit from the pipeline being out of action because it would be able to increase its own natural gas sales. The White House has dismissed such suggestions. It's probably most likely some form of sabotage, according to Mike Fullwood of the Oxford Institute for Energy Studies. If there was one incident of a pipeline rupture of leak then accidental damage could be a possibility, it is very rare. The most likely cause of accidental damage is an anchor being dropped and dragging across the pipeline. He added that with multiple leaks in a short period of time, doesn't sound like it could be accidental, although theoretically it could be. The high water pressure at the bottom of sea makes a detonation difficult, according to energy engineering expert Professor Russell Johns of Penn State University. He says, it is not likely that the Russians detonated their own pipeline. They could have simply cut off gas to the pipeline entrance, if they wanted to stop supplies. The money Russia continues to receive for its fossil fuels is helping fund its invasion of Ukraine. Unreliable energy partner. The gas escaping from the pipeline near the Danish island of Bornholm has been in the pipe since the beginning of September when Moscow closed it off, saying repairs were needed to a vital artery in supplying Europe's energy needs. Ms. Granholm suggested the energy relationship between Russia and Europe was being consigned to history. I think Russia has proven itself to be an unreliable energy partner, she said. No country wants to take the risk of putting a significant amount of its energy demand to Russia's supply. I think this accelerates the EU's push to become energy independent through clean energy. The war in Ukraine has had a profound impact in pushing up global energy prices. They've been the biggest contributor to soaring inflation in the UK, Eurozone, and US, something which is threatening to reduce global economic growth. The increasing cost of living has made political leaders around the world reevaluate where they get their energy from, according to Ms. Granholm, who was speaking from the International Atomic Energy Agency's ministerial conference in Vienna. Every country is looking at the risks associated with putting too many eggs in one basket or putting too many eggs in the basket of petrodictators and the volatility of the fossil fuels that accrue from that. Everyone is looking to how they can become energy independent. Wind, solar and nuclear energy are among the alternatives many countries are trying to increase as they also aim to meet the Paris climate change targets. However an analysis by Columbia University suggests that Russia has a 46% share of global enrichment capacity for nuclear fuel, and the International Energy Agency warned in July that China has an 80% share in all the key manufacturing stages of solar panels. When asked how the US and others don't end up overly reliant on such alternatives Ms. Granholm replied that, this move to clean energy could be part of a great peace plan, and that such a move helps people's pocketbooks, helps the economy, and helps energy security. Встречи слева! На кра! Ух!